We are all united today by the shared belief that learning has the power to uplift, to empower, and transform lives. Today, we have students in our midst that come from 29 countries. You come from countries like the United States, Belarus, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Brazil, China, Thailand, Japan, Macedonia. We also have our amazing partners here with Didi, IBM, Amazon, Google, and many, many others. Today, March 8th, marks International Women's Day, and it seems fitting that our conference should be on this day. Okay, no the world is getting increasingly divided, and often in that, it's the women that get left behind. Education is the most important way to empower people, yep. to give them the yep. opportunities they need to lead the lives and they want. While we may not have deliberately picked this day per se for the conference, we did pick the venue deliberately because the Computer History Museum embodies everything that Silicon Valley is all about. For us, it's a very special place. The museum sits less than half a mile from the Google campus, LinkedIn, Microsoft, and Intuit. If you go six miles north, you land at Stanford University. If you drive eight miles south, you are at the Apple Spaceship Campus. Udacity, we sit about a mile and a half from here. It's pretty hard to get any closer to the epicenter of Silicon Valley. The Computer History Museum was the brainchild of a person called Gordon Bell, who founded Digital Equipment Corporation. It started out in Boston and then moved to Silicon Valley about a decade ago. But because every Silicon Valley company has that proverbial garage story to it, the Computer History Museum happened to be in a trailer at Moffett Field for many years before it came into its permanent existence. The museum has always recognized people for their incredible contributions to the world, and you will see a wall of them outside of this hall. In fact, the first fellow the museum recognized for ideas that changed the world and affected humans was the indomitable woman, Grace Hopper. You'll see her photo right outside. Today, as you go through the museum, you will see Silicon Valley come to life. Right outside the entrance is the Fairchild Semiconductor exhibit with their founders. As you go through, you will see people who broke ground and defied gravity to create companies like Hewlett Packard, Xerox Park, IBM, Apple, Atari, Google, and many others. And then you will wander into the exhibit which has a self-driving car that our founder, Sebastian Thrun, had something to do with. Today, you are the mavericks and the trailblazers just like these people were. You are forging a trail of new learning and the opportunities it brings to affect people's lives. And someday, one of you could be the next hopper, the next page, the next jobs, the next bell, and you might be an exhibit in some museum somewhere in the world. We at Udacity hope to arm you with the learning you need to get there, just so that one day when you're in one of those museums, we can say we knew them when they were taking a nano degree. With that, let me run through some details of the day. We have a packed day with panels in the morning, breakout sessions, and then a panel later on in the afternoon. And then we have an awesome party. We also have 23 companies that are waiting to talk to you about job opportunities, so make sure you visit them during the afternoon. There are some details. Cell phones should be turned off during the sessions. The wireless access is Intersect, the password being Udacity. Please be social throughout the day. These are our handles. Share talks, share pictures, share comments on everything along with the Udacity app. Um, with that, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce the CEO of Udacity, Vishal Makajani.